Hello guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Rob. In this one, we are going to talk Telos worker proposals and how to vote on worker proposals using the Squirrel wallet. The Telos network creates an annual inflation of 1.5%, which is dedicated to the worker proposal system. That is how the Telos worker proposal account receives its funding. For and it is up to us as token holders to vote on these worker proposals and support the projects and teams that we believe will make best use of these funds. So before we jump into Squirrel, there is this site, chainspector.io, that has a very nice worker proposal page. Uh, you, you can log in with Scatter here. I have been having trouble logging in and voting with Scatter on this site, so I'm not sure if I need to update my Scatter or if they're having problems on their end. Um, but Chainspector does have a nice layout here. It gives you all the breakdown of what's going on, the breakdown in the votes, as well as the actual worker proposal paper from the team requesting the funds. So I will be making a video disclosing how the HODL Telos Pro proxy does vote for these. But in this one, I just want to show you guys how to vote for these using Squirrel. So here I am in my Squirrel wallet in the governance section and all you do is come over to the proposals and I am here in the proposal section. If you would like to submit a proposal, all you have to do is click the submit new proposal button. But here you can see all the worker proposals listed out. So I'm going to go down on this page for each worker proposal. You see the title of the worker proposal, when the voting began, when the voting ends, the requested amount of TLOS, the account that TLOS will go to if the yes vote is achieved, the fee for the worker proposal, number of yes votes, number of no votes, number of abstain votes, and here is a link to the IPFS where you can see the actual worker proposal paper. So this worker proposal proposed by Goodblock is to reward Scatter for supporting Telos. I completely agree with this one. Scatter is an amazing tool throughout the EOSIO ecosystem and they jumped on with Telos very early and I agree they should be rewarded. So all I'm simply going to do is come down here and click the yes. Please confirm your vote yes for the worker proposal reward Scatter. Yep, confirm and transaction sent and then you see the green box here you have voted on this you have voted yes on this worker proposal so all you do is come to the governance section in squirrel wallet go over to proposals and then for each proposal you have the option vote yes vote no or abstain from the vote simply click the button confirm that is the decision you wanted to make for that worker proposal and then push the transaction through and you are done. So once I go through and review these more recent worker proposals in more detail, I will make a full disclosure video for how the HODL Telos Pro, the proxy I run, is voting for these proposals. So there you go guys, that is how you vote for worker proposals in the Squirrel Wallet. If you have any questions, you can pop them down into the comments below and I will get to them. But other than that, that's going to do it for me for this one. I will see you guys in the next one.